What's up? Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net and we are in lesson number three of our under three minute videos. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, in this one right here, we're going to add three, uh, two more form fields. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to add one. Well, let's go ahead and add in our break. Have input one, two, and three. So let's put a one there, two there, and a three here. So now we've got all three of our fields. Let's jump over here. So now we're going to grab a hold of this text and put it up here, two and three. Change that to one, two, and three. Each one of these, that way we can utilize them. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to look at it and see if it exists. So if get text one equals then response dot write and then we want to write something so copy and paste can be your best friend doing this so then we go here we do else and then we do else again and then we do else then end if so we want one more thing to be put right down here so now we go here uh, information required for uh, input number one so then we go down here paste it for number two and then paste it for number three so what this is going to do other than changing these okay what we're going to do here is that we're going to look at each one of these form fields okay and once we get uh, from text one text two and text three what we're going to do is we're going to say okay if get text equals nothing because there's nothing here then information is required um, for input area one two and three so we do it for each one of them and then at the end of it we say uh, uh, information provided thank you and then we want to say uh, and get text one and then we do this and then we um, do a break come here and then we do a my text two once again we do another break and then we jump over here and then we do my text three and so what this is going to do, this is going to throw up this and it's going to say all this information here. So let's make sure that we've got it. So information is required for one. So my name is, let's do hello. Information required for two. Information required for three. And now information provided. Thank you. Hello. And let me change that to get and then get again save it submit it information provided thank you hello wayne baron that's it i hope that y'all enjoyed this quick asp classic submit form and check if uh form fields are filled in and a really quick easy example uh y'all have a rocking weekend wayne baron dark effects.net